In this Canadian Assessment of Physical Literacy Training video, we will understand how to measure torso muscular endurance using the plank assessment. Equipment needed to measure the plank. Mat that is longer than the participant's body. Stopwatch that measures to one second intervals. Place the mat flat on the floor. Participants should be in clothing that enables the position of the trunk and legs to be accurately evaluated. Tucking in shirts and wearing shorts or tights rather than baggy pants are recommended. Tuck in your shirt so that I can see where your back and body are during the test. Start down on your hands and knees. Then go from your hands onto your elbows so that your elbows are straight under your shoulders. Fold your arms so that your elbows are apart the same distance as from your elbows to your fingertips. Then unfold your arms and hold your hands together against the floor. When your elbows and hands are in the proper position, lift your knees and straighten your legs so that only your toes are on the floor. Curl your toes under your feet and keep your feet together. Look at your hands and make a perfectly straight line with your body. Once your body is straight and off the floor from your toes to your elbows, the time will start. We want you to hold this position for as long as you can. You cannot let your hips or shoulders sag down and you cannot lift your hips way up in the air. Make sure your elbows and toes stay on the mat. You will get one short practice so that you will know the position you have to maintain. After that, we will time you. If your body bends, we will give you one hint so that you can straighten up again. But the second time you bend, we will stop timing. Watch for common mistakes made during the test. Elbows too wide. Elbows too close. Elbows too far forward. Elbows too far backwards. Feet apart. Feet scattered. Toes not under heels. Shoes not tied. Shirt untucked. Start timing once the participant is in the correct position. Track the amount of time held in the correct position. Any break from a neutral spine position, either hips too high or too low, head moving out of alignment or knees bending, then give one warning. A second break from the required position terminates the test. Participant holds position for as long as possible, no time limit. Watch our other capable videos.